So finally, I was going to just ask you about um, interesting cases that you, you've got, you know, a case which, or two, which has really changed the way you do things using yeah. this imagery. Oh, I would say that I have in mind a, a case where, uh, that I did uh, six months ago, seven months ago, was a, a relatively young, 58 years old architect with a, a, such aggressive diabetes, uh, insulin dependent. We, uh, and so I did a coronary angiography in the arterial uh, bed was fully involved since the beginning to the tip. So no choice, no chance for the surgery because in those cases would be, uh, I mean, uh, really helpful uh, with a good peripheral bed. So I spoke to the patient and said, okay, I will start to reconstruct your artery in different steps because I think that is the only choice uh, we have. And so I started uh, doing in right coronary artery as well as uh, on LAD, aggressive, very aggressive predilatation with cutting balloon in all the, the, the all arteries. Cutting balloon, dissecting, 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 trying to widen the arteries. Then I did IVUS and OCT, both, and then I chose the caliber of the BVS and I implanted the BVS in right coronary artery and in left coronary domain, in LDA. Uh, in right coronary artery, I did a full plastic jacket, but at the end there was a distal dissection and uh, I assessed it by uh, IVUS, I checked the dissection, was uh, intermediate risk of, uh, I mean, uh, progression threatening the artery, and I implanted a metal stand because I had to cross all the, all the previous implanted scaffold and I wanted to be sure to have the lowest profile possible. And uh, so I reconstructed successful the right coronary artery. On the LAD, I did the same, and at a certain point I had an, an intravascular hematoma. So I was concerned because yeah. I was dilated after the cutting, I didn't understand what to do. Uh, there, wa there was uh, the stent, uh, the BVS, three BVS implanted already. So I went uh, with uh, intravascular imaging and I understood that the scaffold at that point was completely di distorted and deformed and destroyed. So it was very helpful because I implanted a metal stand inside the scaffold. So achieving an excellent result and the patient is doing well at uh, now six or seven months uh, and we did an angiography at six months because I wanted to complete the circumflex artery and the right was very good and the left there was uh, some narrowing and the right deleted, uh, dilated with a, a POBA, a drug eluting balloon. But in this case the IVUS and the OCT combined were mandatory and were the, 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 I mean, the, the reason for the success in this patient. So even in a, a well-planned uh, case, clearly a very complex case, things don't always go to plan. And here, you change your, your, mind. your the IVUS uh, imaging yeah. here really helped to. Yeah. And I think that uh, IVUS is really helpful in bifurcations. In left main, always, always performing. In uh, be at the beginning, because when you have intermediate lesions, you have to assess and understand if to treat or not treat. And after, in order to understand if the stent is fully expanded, if you, are, if you get a, a, a luminal area large enough to guarantee to the patient a long-term follow-up, a good outcome, and also for the bifurcation. Could be useful also the FFR for the side branches, uh, and we use uh, in some cases. But I think that in bifurcations and complex lesions, you have to use, because otherwise you run the risk to spending a lot of time to do a complex procedure for nothing. Yeah. For nothing. Yeah. Well, Corey, I'd like to thank you very much for your time today, and I think uh, you've addressed these questions you know, in a very elegant way. We've certainly learned that uh, IVUS is a very, very important tool, which is probably underused still in the cath lab. Um, and perhaps now with an aging population, we have more complex disease, We've got new stents uh, coming into the market, new scaffolds coming to the market, which really using uh, IWAS is a, a mandatory uh, component of implantation of these stents, and it's going to be very important yeah. as these take uh, market share going forward. I'd like to thank you very much for, for tuning you. into this uh, interventional uh, cardiology review, and uh, we look forward to uh, reviewing uh, further cases with you in the future. Thank Thanks you. Very thank much. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.